There we go. Hello, Ian. Hello, how are you? And we're recording. There we go. I mean, don't look at that. That, was, I don't think that actually means anything. <laughs> so, thank you for being my guinea pig. Um, and um, we're going to do some recording and have a bit of a chat um, and see how this goes. And if it's all right, we'll do some more. Um, and I've invited a nice, friendly person. Um, in case everything technologically goes haywire, because there's about 20 moving parts. And this is um, Geeks on Screens with Coffee. Um, and um, and coffee. it's legally different from comedians in cars getting coffee. Okay, Just I've not seen that one. You haven't? Oh, it's one. No. no, okay. Um, and so the idea, it's, just, it's a bit of a chat. In you know, in the interesting times we're in, if if we get desperate and we run out of things to talk about, <laughs> we've got um, emergency questions. Yeah, in. are you aware of the Richard Herring? So got to give uh, him credit for his questions. No, no, no. Get again, another one probably need to get. Did have a book that had was in the toilet whenever I obviously went in there for a certain amount of time that you could read and things like that. But, yeah. Just careful. We, we are we are streaming live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? So how, um, how how are things going in the? Um, I, I see you're wearing. You're very corporate. I am very corporate. Yeah. I've, I've got my Microsoft Azure top. So do you want to tell people? Uh, just introduce yourself. Just say hello and what, who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, so yep, yeah, uh, Ian Pike. I am formerly a TSB. I'm now a cloud solution architect. I uh, work in the customer success unit in the UK, uh, so that means helping our great customers um, to sort of modernise or sort of try and work out what they need to do with uh, Microsoft stuff, so it's uh, quite interesting. All right, forget all that. So how are you? <laughs> how, I'm good. How's the, um, how's, how's the, the stuff, ongoing stuff, the virus stuff, how's that changing your sort of your day job and your life? And I, I presume you're stuck at home just like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, but I think, you know, I think quite lucky with the role, I think, and, you know, obviously, uh, employer being um, technologically savvy, then um, able to do, I did well, did quite a lot of my role at home anyway, uh, previously talking to customers. I think it's uh, obviously become more. So obviously with the lockdown, yeah, obviously stuck at home now doing everything. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I think, yeah, I think like everyone else trying to adjust to, you know, being inside a lot more, using the technology more, um, and being on video a lot more, I think, prior to the lockdown, I think a lot of people didn't use the video so much and then have their funky backgrounds as we're using Teams and able to do that now with a preview feature. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's quite cool. Yeah, I use that all the time. That's quite a nice backdrop. Um, I mean, just, just, I mean, we can call out on Teams. You're using Teams. <laughs> I'm not using Teams. Well, we're using Teams to talk between us. Yeah. But um, this stuff... Um, um, you know, well, this is all going through a free software called OBS, um, and so kind of as we're doing stuff, um, I can apply effects, and I and I will just apologise. Just before I got this all lit up nicely before the call, and then it all went to, you know, the thing everything goes to just before you go live on a call. Um, all went left. All went left. Yes, it all went Pete Tong, if you're a certain yeah. age. So, it, yeah, the family and stuff, are they coping well with it? Yeah, the kids have obviously been off school and things like that, so I think they've been enjoying um, more of the online um, entertainment and things like that. You know, uh, Disney Plus and things, they've been, uh, I think, uh, burning the broadband every day on the back of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Have you, right, you, you tell me truthfully, because no one's listening yet. <laughs> um, actually, there's a few people on Facebook. Um, oh. uh, <laughs> um, okay, right, I wasn't expecting anyone to watch. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, have you have you been doing the Joe Wilkinson? Is it Joe Wilkinson? P. Joe Joe Wilkes. Joe Joe Wicks. Joe, Joe Wicks. Wicks. Sorry, Joe Wicks. Um, I haven't, uh, but my children have. Yeah, they're, they've been doing either getting up the youngest one, who's nine, getting up at nine in the morning and um, doing it. The older one is less so because uh, she sleeps until 11 being a teenager so um yeah it's uh yeah they'll be doing it i think yeah it's been doing other things as well 
Uh, my eldest one, sort of, for some reason, one of her um, Instagram followers or, you know, people she follows, apparently slept in the bath um, as part of the uh, isolation sort of thing for 24 hours. So my 13-year-old decided to do that as well. So she did that as a crazy thing. So, well, yeah, slept in the bathroom. In the bath. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think I have slept in a bath once. Yeah, but not that our choice. Because I think because there was nowhere else to sleep. <laughs> yeah, probably at a party or something like that. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back um, in the younger days. So actually, one of the reasons for grabbing you, um, a because you you'll be quite um, gentle Te- when when this technology setup fails and you, you were quite patient when I was setting it up was I saw on LinkedIn that there's some free stuff that you're doing some online training um, yeah, yeah migration I stuff. think yeah so a, well, probably a lot with everyone at the moment I think uh, a lot of the community and you know that's how you know, we know each other previously is doing a lot with uh, the SQL community, uh, whether that be at the user groups or SQL Saturday, SQL Bits, um, SQL Relay or SQL you know, Data Relay now. Um, yeah, a lot of people, I think, are obviously finding things to fill time. So I know we had some in-person hacks, so the team I work in, um, we were going to do one in Manchester in London, but obviously with the lockdown, decided we'd move that online. So a bit of reshuffling with the internal teams to sort of try and turn a lab sort of thing to an online sort of process. Uh, it went pretty well, so uh, we had quite a lot of um, input. People, I uh, think, did it. We're going to do another one, I think, in May. Um, so keep an eye out for that date. I think it's around the 15th of May. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do some uh, webinars as well, just talking to people through uh, migrations from SQL Server to you know Azure, what the options are. You know, We've got a lot of um, things. You know, if you've got SSIS, how you go through that. The Data Migration Assistant, um, hosting SSIS, um, tuning SQL and Azure DB and things like that. So um, it, it's maybe not so so much of the cooler stuff, but uh, you, you, you know, you has your synapse. But um, I think it's uh, a lot of customers are still struggling with some of this. So uh, yeah, we're, we're there. You know, I, I love doing SSIS. It's uh, and uh, putting in DevOps. So um, I know we, I think uh, there's a lot of customers still not doing source control and um, SSDT. So I, I I'm going to make it my mission to sort of bring that back again and uh, make it cool. Maybe. So are these open to everyone? They yeah, are, yeah. That's something they need to do to get onto them? No, I know there's usually a sign up, so you can go and do it. Um, we're hopefully going to put um, a series of three webinars where we talk through um, something that uh, Microsoft is building at the cloud adoption framework. So a lot of people will hear that from the infrastructure side. We're going to try and do it around the data side as well now because um, I think it, you know data guys, girls out there will you know, need to sort of understand this as well. You know, if you're a DBA, um, a lot more of your job is going to be around networking and, you know, the security side of things. So it's how can we help people understand what the CAF is, the Cloud Adoption Framework, um, and then just go through the migration tools and then uh, SSIS, and then maybe a bit of Power BI as well in there because um, that's a cool tool to be using as well, apparently. Anyway. Actually, I did speak to, I did offer a slot out I did say to Chris Webb, whether he wanted oh, yeah. to have a chat, and he was like, yeah, yeah. Although I then went very silent and very quiet yeah, and yeah. kind of. So yeah, he's, he's top bloke. Yeah, get Chris on there. You know, he's obviously uh, he'll he'll boost Stephen more with his numbers of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you mean he's got some he's got some real friends. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, whereas uh, yeah, my 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 Twitter followers are probably less than yours. So uh, yeah, they're probably oh. good good oh. guinea pig to start with. No, I've got no. I don't, don't think anyone follows me on Twitter. I don't really put anything up there. I think I just use the Facebooks. Those bots, those bots that are following you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, they take a lot of interest. The bots. <laughs> you got to keep them going. If the bots start unsubscribing from you, then you know yeah, that you're doing in trouble. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We'll so, check our subscriber list after tonight. Eh? So last week would have been sequel bits. Yes. Were you going to dress up or were you... Yes, your costume is ready and uh, was going to be there. I know um, they did a costume on Friday, but I thought I'd leave mine. Um, I, I need to do a bit more work on the, the outfit, I think, ready for September. But uh, I'll leave that one until September comes around. 
Oh, uh, okay. I yeah, think... Yeah. Uh, I can't see it. I did have one piece of... Um, I was hiring a costume. So it's the first time yeah. I hired something. But I did buy something and... As a backup or to go along with? Uh, to go along with. Yeah. Yes, I, I was going very much, very, very vanilla. Very much going with the... Um, the theme of um, the greatest day to show, as in the greatest show on earth. <laughs> right, okay. I even <laughs> rented it from, or bought it from, you know, one of the online stores. You know, the ones that are based around fruit. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I see. Yeah. We're not giving away too much. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give away too much. You're going to use the same one in um, is it September now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I rang them up and just said, oh, the date's been moved, so. <laughs> I, yeah. Otherwise, I would have lost my, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So, before, so the idea was just to have a little chat, uh, because obviously we're all doing social isolation, so I thought we'd end with a, um, we did, unless there's anything else you want to pinpoint. No, 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 I, I think, um, you so, know, we're all good. Yep. So we're going to end with an emergency question. Now, oh, some of them are... You, you, could, you could give one. And then I, I got asked one on our webinar last week um, by Michael Robson. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll throw mine in. So he threw a cool bill because he was on there. And he said, what's your favourite cheese? Oh, it would have to... I used to eat... I don't eat cheese anymore. Um, and vegan very, cheese very is rubbish. <laughs> um, of course. So... We have some vegan cheese, but I haven't touched it because it smells like feet. Uh, um, but it would have been, I would have just been um, cheddar or maybe some Philadelphia, some nice, nice mild cream cheese. But, but since I've gone vegan, no. Um, right, so you pick a number between 1 and 1,001. Oh, goodness me. Um... If it's rude, I won't read it out. Just see. <laughs> oh, can I pick a rude number? So let's go with sixty-nine, just to annoy everyone. All right, sixty-nine. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, the question. If the question is rude, I'm not reading it. Out. Sixty-nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, pick another number. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'll go with eleven. 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 You really low numbers. Okay, eleven. No. It is, if you could choose one thing for your armpit, armpit to dispense, what, what thing would it be? Goodness me. I suppose it, um, I suppose, so you wouldn't have to put your hand under there to do the farts, because then you could just do it naturally and then just, you know, because the kids would love that even more. Oh, the lights on it, so I can't really. If you can actually see, there is a picture of. No, no, it's oh, no, no, so you're on a different camera. <laughs> beer. Is it beer? You could pick beer? Yes. Beer. Yeah. It, there's no right or wrong answer, there are just yeah. answers. Gin. I suppose whatever comes out of there, would you, you know, be willing to eat it if it's come out of your armpit? Well, it, it would be as sterile as, 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 as anything that comes out of your body, you know. It, yeah. Be absolutely fine. Um, whatever floats your boat here, whatever yeah. floats your boat. You could use the um, brew dog sanitizer that they've started producing, and you know, I don't know if that would help. Oh, or, okay. You know, is, drinking it. is I had some saw some video. Some American company is producing sanitizer as a byproduct from um, producing vodka. Ah, uh, yeah. That away. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I'm surprised you're all clean shaven and short yeah. hair. So you. Yeah. I had a bit of a hobo beard, and I had to shave that off. Doesn't look see, good. See, we, we, see, I've got um, a home shave kit, so I can um, I can shave when I need to. So I'm, I'm I'm yeah I'm I'm fine. All these people that are worrying about their barnets and things like that at the moment. I was on a call today with uh, one of my colleagues, and uh, they are getting quite worried now about um, the size of their hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you um, if if you watch the mesh report. You'll see that Nisha's hair is quite <laughs> exuberant. Mm, yeah, I think uh, somebody uh, was it uh, 
somebody was saying about you know the New Zealand's uh, prime minister who's um, said about the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy that they are essential workers now as well. So um, then some people were con- uh, saying that maybe that hairdressers need to be on that list as well for people. So. Yeah, I wonder how that could work. But yeah, I just imagine in two or three months, if people, you know, if 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 it stays the same. Yeah, people will be desperate for haircuts. People will be doing all sorts of terrible things at home to their own hair. Yes, yeah, especially with the, in the warm weather coming as well. I don't think that's really going to help a lot either. So, um, yeah. yeah, you don't want loads of old men wandering around with ponytails. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's the yeah. next lesson. Logical yeah. Yeah. extension. Yeah, or trying a comb over or something or something. That would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's just boring. Ne- never a good look. Never a good yeah. look. <laughs> yes, but oh, that's good. So, has this been? Has it been too technically stressing for you? You were very patient no. at the beginning. No, no, it's good. I think uh, you know it's a good thing to have a go. You know, keep people connected. I keep people onto listening. So, and, uh, I think we're crazy. There is a plan if it all comes off to have. I forgot his name now. Tomorrow night. Um, Simon Wackley, did you tell me earlier? Yes, Simon. And then Annette <laughs> on Friday morning and then then fit some more people in. So do like you know, one a day, have a little chat, yeah. catch up, yeah. find out what people are doing. Um, yeah, it doesn't need to be very long, but it's just kind of keeping me sane yeah. and an excuse yeah. for me to, to ring and talk to people I don't know very well. Yeah, well, if you need some names, I'm quite happy to send you some names or victims that you might have. What about you know. having that thing of nominating someone? Oh, yes, yeah. Go on. Oh, who do I nominate? Oh, Mr. Croft. Martin Croft would be a good one. There you go. He's a, he's, he's a top bloke. So, um, he's a fellow, um, fellow Man- Mancunian um, music group uh, leader. So, um, go with him, I'd say. But, yeah. you know, if you want me to go f- further afield, obviously, you um, could put a big call out to Mr. Buck Woody. You know, that would be a top one. If you could pull that one out of the bag, that would be an interesting conversation. I don't I don't think I can handle Buck Woody. <laughs> it, it would just change. It would just be, a, it would all be about Buck, wouldn't it? Yeah, yes, it would be. It would be funny. It would be very good. But, so, uh, Buck, yeah. yes. how are you? And then you can just yeah. start the timer and just... It's, they're... Uh, if you, he, he would keep people. He would. He would lift people's spirits. There, he would be good person. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you follow him on Facebook, you can just see every day there's another, another thing, another <laughs> thing coming up. I mean, maybe yeah. that could just be another thing. What is Buck putting on Facebook today? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's a a conference in the US. They have intersection. Yes. And they yeah. every year they they have um, Kimberly. I think it's Kimberly trip. Paul Randall, um, normally Brent, and a few other people. Yeah. And what they do is they um, they started doing it uh, surreptitiously, but timing how long each person talks to see how long, you know, so, you know, oh, that was a 12 minute, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, and then it becomes like them trying to outdo each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how some of these bigger conferences are going to deal with uh, this, obviously. Not being in person, and uh, you know, obviously, from a personal thing, Microsoft has said uh, we're staying online for the foreseeable future at the moment. So uh, that's uh, obviously understandable in the circumstances. But yeah, I think uh, it'll be interesting. I know we do a lot of internal ones where we meet up and things like that, and uh, obviously takes away a little bit and obviously changes the carbon footprint, but also the swag as well. How are you going to get the swag? <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most important thing, isn't it? Exactly. exactly. You, can't, yeah. you can't go and feign interest at a, yeah. at, at, a, at a supplier or, you know, just to get a rubber ball anymore <laughs> yes. or just That's a geek it. T-shirt. Yeah. No, that, those days are gone. Mm. Actually, I have done, I've done one Zoom party so far. It was on a Friday night and that was quite interesting. Could, so could, uh, somebody had a, had a birthday party and then did a Zoom birthday party and um, it was... But a few people joined in and things like that. But yeah, obviously people get very drunk on it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not completely sold on the idea yet. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right. I've not tried one of those. Equal bits, you know, Friday night party on Zoom. That could that could be very um, uh, problematic. 
Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> um, yeah, they, they always get quite, I wouldn't say, they, they're always very adventurous. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I was very, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the circus theme because you just know they're going to have circus performance, they're going to have people yeah. with deals. Um, and you know what? The bonus of them, the, the one good thing about them delaying it is I can I can actually get some practice in on a unicycle. Oh, very good, very good. Mm, that could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Although I do keep falling but, off. And then are you do that inside or outside? Are you doing that inside or outside? Inside. For so safety. Most, most, well, you think so, but I've fallen off a couple of times in the kitchen and nearly hit the kitchen table with my head. <laughs> and then I sort of put it away and go, no, I should know better. I'm a man of my age. Yep. But didn't, hey, hey. Didn't yeah, don't want to be going to the hospital at the moment with that. that I don't oh, think that would be helpful. That. We lost our Facebook watches. Oh no. Oh, we obviously am um, dying, dying, mate. Yes, but we're not doing this to be popular. <laughs> for, for useful information, useful information there. All right, so, how do people get onto these pre things that you're doing? Um, mostly, um, mostly they're on um, LinkedIn, so we'll post them by LinkedIn via our, our LinkedIn to say they're there or Twitter. Um, Microsoft does have um, an events page. I am just trying to remember if I have it open that I can maybe tell you what it is. One of my colleagues sent it to me earlier. I will try and find it. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, it's in one of my tabs, similar probably to everyone else out there has got 400 tabs open at the moment. So it is called Microsoft Training Days. Um, and it is um, www.microsoft.com and then it's uh, slash or whack whack or however we describe it or is it whack uh, en hyphen gb slash events and there will be lots of events we're putting on in there. Uh, there was one today, um, analytics in a day. So some of the guys did the analytics in a day today. Um, but yeah, so they're good. Go and look out for them. And right. many of our third season training guys are doing them as well. So, well, I guess this this is the new world we live in. Yes, <laughs> where we will never get to meet each other, and never get to go on site anymore. Oh, no, no, no hugs. They'll just be virtual hugs, won't they? They'll just be virtual yeah. hugs. I'm just trying to see, keep my fingers yeah. in shot. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. the two meters is it? The two meter sort of hug. Sort of yeah, well, yeah, I think from here to oh, Manchester is over two metres. Yeah. Air yes. fives, I, I Air heard five. someone describe it. Oh, elbows, is it? Or is yeah, mean? elbow bumps. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sold on those. Yeah. No. You have to get within two metres to have an elbow bump. That would yeah. be not unless, not unless you're going to do multiples and then build it into a little dance, I think. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> is, that's, that's a TikTok insta facebook gram type thing that the, the kids do yeah because i'm that young i'm down with the kids <laughs> yeah. yeah keep telling yourself that keep telling it i'm sure it'll come true one day yeah but kids i want instagram yay yay <laughs> i'm on youtube now yeah better. you are on yay yeah it's just me and you watching it on youtube at yeah. the moment it's all the right. rerun. It's all about the reruns, Mark. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I wasn't. Well, since no one knows about this, there's, there's going to be no one watching. It is really just a chat. Um, yeah, I'll speak to Simon tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'll publicise that. Speak to Annette, and then maybe try and get a few more people. Send me Martin's details. Well, they, I will warn him. He has to do it. He's, he's yeah, because yeah, it's now on YouTube. It's illegally binding. It's like the ice bucket challenge, isn't it? Yes, yeah. And it means that I don't have to go and find people because people will That's recommend it. them. That's it. If, yeah. In fact, that might be... Yeah, if you send them a tweet with this link into it... Yeah. And then say you've nominated him... Yeah, um, good way. Good yeah. way of doing it. All right. Cool. So... Brilliant. Anything else? Or... No. Well, well keep safe. And, yeah. um, you know, hopefully we'll see each other at Secret Bits in... September. Yeah. If we don't run into each other in person. Yeah. 
yeah. All right. Take care. And I, for some reason, I always wave when I'm on webcams. Even when the camera isn't running, I will wave because it's. <laughs> All right, not a queen, queen, queen way. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, not a dance. All right. Yeah. All right. See you, Ian. Have see a good you. evening. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, I've got to stop. Oh, yeah. Now this is where it goes all too pot. So I've got to stop the streaming. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Every